Okay, I thought I'd go over a cool calc example of a ranch with a finished basement here. So I've got our location pulled up. Um, this house was actually built in 1931, but cool calc's first code year it, it accepts is 1950, so you'll see that here. This is a picture of the house and a sketch. It's about a thousand square feet. Um, this is a little entryway and this is a kind of breezeway going outside, not really part of the home. So in Cool Calc, you have to select what type of load you're doing. In this case, it'll be a block load. Kind of showed you guys this stuff before, but we'll uh, go through and make sure all our defaults are good. Since it's a finished basement, uh, we are, it's going to be newly finished and the customer is doing an R13 in a framed wall. Also, um, upgrading the attic insulation to R60. Default doors. Now on the floors, since we are having a conditioned basement, you want to choose basement floor. Um, surely there's no floor insulation since it was 1931. As always, you got to choose skylights even if there aren't any. This does have upgraded windows, so I'm going to choose 0.45 for the U value. I just leave the SHGC the same, just because I'm not looking it up at the moment. So that gives us all our values. You can review them if you want to. On this one, we'll do a map trace. Zoom in so we can see our house here. Call this the first floor, nine feet above grade, zero feet below grade. And we just start tracing it out. <clears throat> so that's our first floor. In reality, this little entryway isn't part of it, but just to keep things simple, I'm going to make it more of a rectangular shape. And so all of that looks good. We'll hit save. Next, we need to add another room for the basement. Choose your floor level, a negative one. This one is actually uh, the above grade height is about three feet and about five feet below grade. So once again, zoom in so we have a little better area to trace. What's nice about this is it will actually give you, it kind of snaps to points that you already drew on the first floor. So it makes tracing 
other floors that are the same dimensions fairly easy to do. So that gives us our basement level. check to make sure everything looks good in this in these screens you can click on the walls and actually um, adjust things if you want to I'm not going to do that I've got other videos that show that next uh, we create our HVAC system I always just call it main unless there was multiple systems most of the homes I deal with don't have that um, no engineered ventilation at this time yeah blower motor performance is adjusted um, this is one um, I haven't done a blower door test on and I pretty much always choose loose or semi-loose um, in those scenarios. No humidification at the time. So what I'd like to do here is show a difference of having a duct system in a um, if we actually put the duct system in the attic versus in the conditioned basement so we will choose attic trunk and branch Return will be trunk and branch as well. We'll say this is uh, R8 insulation. Let's just give it a fighting chance here. Can't really choose the center of the room since it's a um, new duct system. We'll say that it's well sealed. Guess I have some errors. Oh, got to name it. So we'll call this attic duct system. So this gives us our, our load of the home uh, with an attic duct system. To show the difference between the attic system and a system in the basement, I will actually create another HVAC system here. So we'll go new, we'll call this basement system. Go through all the same steps. Only in this scenario, we actually just want to not have a duct system. Since our duct system is in the conditioned space, we don't really need to enter any information um, where it's going to have heat losses or heat gains. So if you'll see that... Uh, Affected our load by 4,000 or so BTUs either way. So anyway, hope that was helpful. Um, showing a load with uh, a finished basement and how you kind of select your inputs. Like, comment, subscribe.